<clears throat> Whoa, that almost came out completely terrible. Excuse me. <clears throat> yes, that's, that's, that's sorry, and you almost hacked right in your face. No, no disrespect whatsoever. I have a video here from a Wyon News. There is a growing fight between the U.S. and China when it comes to the World Health Assembly or organization, the WHO. We know him as the WHO, and uh, Trump is not paying them. He, we give like I think a five hundred million, five hundred million, three hundred million dollars a year, and we said we're not giving it to you until you do these things A, B, C, D. And if you if you can't do them, we're just going to pull out and we'll go start our own organization or something like that. And the chief complaint from Trump is uh, that the WHO is way too China centric. And it, he says that there's a term in English, carrying water, that they're carrying the water for China, which means how would, uh, what's the, you know, to avoid any kind of lexicon ambiguity, it would be uh, the idea that they're covering up for China. So whatever China does, they're going to try to make it look like, oh yeah, that's fine. So let's take a look at this, shall we? There was a virus outbreak in China. The World Health Organization got its prescription wrong. The whole world fell sick, and now the same World Health Organization is meeting to find a solution. This is the most important event in the history of the WHO. And this event has been hijacked by a blame game. There's mudslinging and name calling now. It started on Monday. The World Health Assembly convened online. This was supposed to be a forum for solutions, a forum for world leaders to find a way to defeat the Wuhan virus. But this turned into a battleground for America and China. The knives are out. It's US versus China at the World Health Assembly. On Monday, Xi Jinping ruled the headlines. He decided to address the meeting personally. And he announced a $2 billion donation. He called China's actions transparent and responsible. On the other About hand, time, US President yo. Donald Trump declined to address this assembly. But that did not mean that Trump was out of action. The American president wrote a letter straight to Dr. Tedros, the director general of the WHO, the man who publicly promised us an interview and then went incommunicado, the same Dr. Tedros. Now he's got mail from President Trump. A four-page letter. To call this letter scathing would be an understatement. This is a full-blown <laughs> attack. Donald Trump accused the WHO of an alarming dependence on China. He blamed Dr. Tedros for repeated missteps that have been, as he puts it, extremely costly for the world. The letter ends with a threat. Trump wants the WHO to commit to, quote-unquote, substantive improvements within 30 days. Else, the U.S. will permanently cut off funding to the WHO. And Trump himself made the letter public on his favorite platform, Twitter. Earlier in the day, he had dropped hints about his ultimatum before the American press. Listen to what he said about the WHO and China. I think they've done a uh, very sad job in the last period of time. And again, the United States uh, pays them $450 million a year. China pays them $38 million a year. And they're a puppet of China. China we should be held responsible for what they've done. Uh, they have hurt the world very, very badly. They've hurt themselves also. But they've hurt the world very, very badly. Yeah, they should be held responsible. The WHO is a puppet of China, says Donald Trump. There's merit to what he says. Although his own lapses cannot be ignored, remember he had dismissed this pandemic, calling it just a flu. But two wrongs don't make a right. The World Health Organization no, didn't say has a lot to answer that. for. More than 100 countries oh, just the agreed flu? that there were lapses yeah, which must be did. investigated. He did. They backed he a resolution on Monday calling for December? a probe into this outbreak. India has supported this call. This probe will look yeah, into the I'm response sure of the News World like Health Trump. Organization. Unfortunately, the probe will be led by the WHO. So good luck to the world. Don't hold your breath for earth-shattering revelations here. Meanwhile, China has responded to America and once again come to the WHO's rescue. The open letter from the United States leadership is full of assertions and speculation, trying to mislead the public by feeding them vague information in order to discredit China's hard work in epidemic control and prevention. 
in efforts by the US to shed responsibility of their own incompetence. This is futile. Making the payment in full and on time is the obligation of the United States as a member of the WHO, which is not something that can be bargained. The arbitrary actions of the United Nations to cut off and reduce payment to international organizations are unilateralist and violate its own international obligations. And this brings us to a question. What is the World Health Assembly doing? What is the purpose of this gathering? The World Health Assembly was supposed to chart a path to fight the pandemic and fix accountability. After two days of speeches and deliberation, the tangible outcomes are few. Yes, there's a resolution for a probe, but the world remains divided over the approach. There is no global action plan to tackle the pandemic. The relevance of the WHO itself is now under question. Its credibility is one of the casualties of the Wuhan virus. And now its very existence may be under threat with big sponsors like the United States threatening to cut funding. Oh, it's not just a threat they have. They've cut the funding and they said if those things aren't done in 13 days that the funding is going to be permanent. It's going to be permanently cut, so it, 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 it is. We'll see what happens here. Uh, nice of China to step up and put in the $2 billion. Um, I mean, if, if you're going to run that organization, you, you should probably contribute to it. So good for them for doing that. And I hope the WHO fix it, fixes it. I hope they figure it out. It's always better when we have more people addressing a problem than less people. Unless, of course, there's some kind of, I don't know, ulterior motive. I don't know. But a uh, very good uh, news update. That's what's going on. And I'll keep you posted as I hear things here in the States. Peace and much love. Hey, this is Sonal. Please like and subscribe to Movie Community College and do check out my channel, The String Theory, for some amazing sitar videos.